Just days later came Knowles' first known murder. He strangled a 65-year-old retired school teacher and then kidnapped and killed a 6-year-old and an 11-year-old girl, all in Jacksonville. He went to Atlantic Beach and strangled a woman. Investigators later found her portable TV in the Maycomb home of Knowles' girlfriend. During the next three months, Knowles traveled the country with 18 confirmed kills in eight states, including murders in central Georgia, in Musella, Macon, and Milledgeville. If you look back over the history of, of serial killers, then he was probably the first one to be identified as a serial killer. I think Ted Bundy was very prominent during that time, but uh, nobody had put a name on him at that time. Nobody put the name on Knowles until a few days after he murdered two people in their Milledgeville home. Carswell Carr and his 15-year-old daughter, Amanda. Authorities don't know whether Carr died from the multiple stab wounds or a heart attack brought on by the stabbings. Knowles raped and strangled Amanda Carr. It was the bloodiest crime scene I'd ever seen.